the Nightside Project. Finish the day happy, happy with Ethan Millard and Alex Keery on KSL News Radio. As we said many, many times before, our commitment to you is to help you finish your commute happy. And so we came up with the Zen Headlines concept, and it's very, very simple. So Zen Headlines are stories that are fun, funny, uplift you, positive in some way. If you find one, share it with us on social media, hashtag Zen Headlines. We'll use it and we'll give you credit. Uh, Taylor, this Zen Headlines, however, is one that I get credit for because... I found it. So you get a free t-shirt. <laughs> yeah, t-shirt. Which I need another one. Of which I need another. Like I need a whole. Nevertheless, uh, this is a story of Janet Getty. She married her husband, Joe, on May 11th, 1957 in Halbstadt, Indiana. Here's a photo of the beautiful couple. Right there. Classic 1950s photos, right? Mm-hmm. The glasses, I mean, you could have, we could have picked out the decade just looking at this photo. It's great. Great, awesome look back in the past. She's wearing this beautiful, beautiful dress. If you're watching the video version of this, you can actually see it. Uh, she's, uh, it's a black and white photo. It's very cool. She's wearing this beautiful... Um, Long uh, sleeve, lace dress, satin. <laughs> sa- did you say satin? You can see the satin train. But yeah. it's, like, it's like overlapping layers of lace mm-hmm. and some kind of tool or something like that and she's got these long sleeves and it's lace all the way down the sleeves anyways very beautiful dress and this week she got together or recently she got together with her family to celebrate her and her husband's 60th wedding anniversary and we found this story from kelsey borenson on huffington post who brought this to everyone's attention because at the anniversary some of her family joked, hey, you know what? She had family in fall over. they get a big family now. 60 years. A long time to be mm-hmm. married. And they said, hey, you know what? Let's do this. Let's get out your old wedding dress and see if it still fits you. What would your reaction to that be? If someone invited you to do that, Taylor, 60 years afterwards, hey, let's get out your old wedding dress, see if it still fits you. <laughs> um... What percentage of people do you think would actually go for something like that? Four. Four? Four percent? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I think that seems perfectly fine. I won't touch clothes that I wore nine months ago. You know what I mean? Let alone 60 years ago. Yeah. And it's because I don't fit in them anymore. Uh, but nevertheless, she did it. And check this out. I'm going to show you this photo that her daughter posted of her. Oh, wow. Right there. Dressed once again in her wedding dress. 60 years later, she's holding a rose. And you can see that she fits in that thing like it was made for her just this year. Isn't that awesome? That's incredible. Really, really cool photo. What a cool thing to be able to do on your on your 60th wedding anniversary. Get into your wedding dress and say, yep. Well, a lot of people um, getting married now wouldn't have such modest dresses that in 60 years they would feel comfortable putting it back on. <laughs> 60 years later, you're a conservative old lady. You don't even see the photos, yeah. let alone get that dress out. Yeah, I can see that. You I know, think, that's a very nice, modest dress, long is. sleeve, high neck. It's It looks beautiful on her still. Yeah, it just falls just off, just a little off the shoulders, mm-hmm. and then cut, but it is it is pretty high up there on the neck. It's, it's uh, yeah, it's a beautiful dress. Beautiful woman. Mm-hmm. So congratulations to that great family. Good for her for fitting it. I know, right? Dress. That's absolutely amazing. I've also got, I want to show you, here's the, here's the icing on the cake. Here's her, her and her husband sharing a little at their 60th wedding anniversary, feeding oh. each other wedding cake. Of course, oh. she's not wearing her wedding dress in this photo. No, took it off. You know, I read a study this morning that said married people live significantly longer than single people. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, they do it because uh, neither one of them are willing to, to die before the other. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm married. It's just stubbornness. <laughs> it's just, you can, you, look, you can add, Wait. you can tack on an extra 10 years easy by just insisting the other one go first. But listen to this. Okay, a married couple, one dies. The next day, the very next day, the, rem- the surviving uh, couple mm-hmm. has a half chance of what, what is it? 50% higher chance of dying that day. 
the the surviving the member. The surviving of the member, yeah. Wow, yeah. that's shocking. But you know what? It also speaks to I think how important those relationships are physiologically. You know, there's a physiological component. Yeah, that's what the study was talking about. Is is just how we communicate and how it's viral. And without that partner that you rely on for your entire life, yeah. your your mental health, everything just shut you know gets shot down. Well, that's a much better theory than mine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. Which is the reason. <laughs> We're just stubborn. I'm not loading the dishwasher. I'll let her load the dishwasher. <laughs> I'm not planning her funeral. She's planning mine. <laughs> All right. Listen. That's why you plan it before you die. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm just being extra morbid, you know? All right. Uh, Thanks so much for grabbing this episode of the Nightside Project. If you've got a Zen headline to share, hit us up on social media. Hashtag Zen Headlines. We'll see you next time. Uh-huh.